Assalamu alaikum sisters. So there are specific animals that are mentioned in the Quran about uh, that which that will be in Jannah. Okay, and for example, the dog of the people of the cave and also the camel of Suah alayhi salam. So this camel, the she camel, and also the dog of these uh, people of, uh, of the cave will be uh, in Jannah. Okay, this is what we find in the Quran and this is uh, being authenticated. The number two uh, animal that will be in Jannah, uh, that will be uh, that are mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah. For example, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He mentioned, "Walahmitu uh, aydimim mayyastahun," with the flesh of fowls that they desire, or the flesh of the of the blood that they desire. So blood, uh, sorry, blood, <laughs> the bird, a flesh of bird will be, uh, or the bird will be in Jannah. So we know that birds will be in Jannah, and also mentioned that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He mentioned in Surah Tur, He mentioned that, and we shall provide them with fruit and meat as they desire meat of the of the bird the uh, we also mentioned the she camel and the dog these will be in jannah the second one that we mentioned the bird and the meat and uh, these uh, things will be in jannah is confirmed in the quran so that's uh, hopefully is clear another example uh, is that bull okay bull will be in jannah okay rasulullah sallallahu actually what happened is it was narrated by narrated by uh, tauban the freed slave, uh, slave of rasulullah sallallahu he mentioned that i was standing by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what happened is a jewish uh, rabbi he came i was standing by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the, the jew rabbi he came and i said to him and he said to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually the jews he said to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, peace be upon you assalamu alaikum so he said that i pushed him back so much and so hard that he nearly fell over so then uh, the Jew, he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that, and this hadith is reported in Sahih al-Muslim, he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what would be their food after this? So there was a conversation uh, in the hadith, uh, narrated, the Jews asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what would be their food after this? Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, a bull which was fed in the different quarters of paradise would be the food that they will eat after this. So bulls are mentioned specifically and this hadith is reported in Sahih al-Muslim and uh, this hadith is uh, uh, authentic hadith. People of Jannah will be slaughtering these bulls and uh, they will eat them. So we talk about three things, a few things. Uh, number one is the dog, the she camel of Prophet Saleh, the flesh of birds and now we also find out the bull Okay, will be in Jannah. What else will be in Jannah? Those animals that are specifically mentioned in Sahih uh, Sunan, okay, which will be in paradise, this includes. Now in, uh, in Sahih Hadith, we find also name of uh, animals that are mentioned specifically. Uh, it was narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Rasul, 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 he mentioned, uh, he said actually, pray in the sheep pens and wipe their dust, uh, for they are among the animals of paradise. Okay, so what does it mean, uh, Rasulullah Rasul, he said that, pray in the sheep pens and wipe their dust. This hadith is narrated by al Bayhaqi. Ragim means dust, okay. So Rasulullah Rasul, he is saying that, wipe the dust, uh, from the camel and also he said the word also narrated uh, uh, as um, ra'am okay which refers to the mucus that comes from the uh, sheep's nose okay so what it what it means is to wipe the dust from it uh, or wipe away that what comes from the nose okay from the from the camel has to look it uh, after it and, and take care of it means Rasulullah so he's asking the people to uh, take care of the camel of the sheep uh, you know camel because uh, oh, sorry the sheep I'm, I'm saying camel sheep because these are the um, animal of Jannah now this is this hadith is very interesting okay listen to this hadith it was narrated by Abu Masood uh, radiallahu an Ansari actually Abu Masood al Ansari uh, he's from the Ansar not that Abdullah Mas Abdullah ibn Masood no it's, it's Abu Masood al Ansari he's Ansar a man brought a bridled uh, she camel and said, "This is for you, for the sake of Allah, uh, Subhanahu wa Taala." Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he then said, "You will have seven hundred she camels in Jannah on the day of resurrection. Which of them, uh, sorry, each of them will be bridled?" And this hadith is narrated in Muslim. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying that this man he gave a, a, a she camel. Uh, to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then Rasulullah Sallam he said that in Jannah you will have 700 she camel and this hadith again is narrated is Sahih al-Muslim so Anawi he mentioned in this hadith when the, the came uh, came uh, and gave uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gift the she camel 
Rasulullah al Anawi he may he commented and he said that what is meant by makhtuma is bridled. The uh, word khitam came from the same root word. So makhtuma means something bridled and khitam means the bridle itself. So what it means is that in Jannah, in paradise, okay, you have you will have she camel that that you will have full control over. Okay, so the she camel in Jannah, you have she camel and you will um, tell the she camel to go wherever you want it to go. So in other words, you'll be in the driving driver's seat because just imagine if you let the she camel go in Jannah, it will go wherever it wants, right? But you want to fulfill your desire because in Jannah. It's all about your desire. It's all about what you want, right? So in Jannah, the camel, the animal that will be provided, it will go uh, according to what you desire. Okay, clear? So this is what uh, Nawawi, he uh, interpreted this hadith. So we talked about she camel. We talked about the, uh, not the horses. We talked about the, the birds. We talked about the uh, she camel of um, Prophet Saleh. We talk about the dog in, in in the in the cave. Abu Ayyub he narrated Rasulullah saw some. He mentioned the people of paradise will visit w one another on white she camels. Okay, this is very interesting. On white she camels, and um, they are as if rubies, and there are no animals in paradise apart from camels and birds. So this is a hadith uh, narrated by At Tabarani in Kabir. Now, Al Haydami said that. This was narrated by Al Tabarani. Its isnad includes Jabir uh, ibn Nuh, who is Daif. So this hadith is not very uh, authentic. The hadith that I mentioned that there will be, um, you know, animals, uh, all kind of uh, animals in paradise apart from camels and birds. Okay, sorry, there is no animals in paradise apart from camels and birds. Okay, so this hadith is Daif. It was narrated by Sulaiman ibn uh, Buraida from his father that a man asked the Prophet O oh, Messenger of Allah, so this is another hadith, will there be horses in paradise? Okay, he's asking, O oh, Rasulullah, will there be horses in paradise? He said, Rasulullah said, if Allah admits you to paradise, okay, this is what he's saying, if Allah admits you to paradise, um, you will not wish that you could be carried on a horse of red rubies which will fly uh, wherever you want in paradise but that will happen so the man I asked him will there be any horses so Rasulullah said that you will have a horse you will wish uh, anything and the horses will be of red rubies okay subhanallah this is special custom made horses in Jannah for the people of Jannah where you have these beautiful, beautiful horses and you will go wherever you want. Another man, he came and he asked the Prophet ﷺ, will there be any camels um, uh, in Jannah? Then the Prophet ﷺ, he said, if Allah admits you to paradise, you will, you will have therein whatever your heart desires and whatever your eyes will want to see. So this is a, a, this is a hadith we find that there will be camels and there will be horses in Jannah, inshallah. And these are uh, like a special difference. So when we talk about, uh, you know, animals in Jannah, uh, we talked about the horses. We talked about the we talk about the camel. We talk about the birds. You know, you, you have nice meat roast. These are not like these are names in dunya. Okay, these are not what you will get in Jannah. In Jannah, if you think about dunya, it's not 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 even close. Like in Jannah, you will get way better than what you have in dunya. But the name are, are same, okay? So because we live, we are human beings. We do not understand, you know. Allah, did, uh, Subhanahu wa Taala, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He did not use complicated terms, okay? Terminology, they are very simple. The uh, message of the Quran and the Hadith, everything, the whole Islam, our religion is very simple. So when we talk about, you know, she camel and this and that and this and that, it's just names. But in reality. The red ruby is like, what does it mean? Red ruby horse or white, you know, white camel. Like how they would even look like. You and I, you and I will have no idea what, how they look like and how they taste. Um, the, the meat that you will have in Jannah, the quality of it. Uh, I mean, right now, you can have the best chef in the UK. Uh, I think his name is James Corden, something like that. I forgot. Yeah, some, I don't know, Gordon Ramsay, right? He's, uh, he's a be one of the best chefs in the world. I mean, if you even if you uh, have him cook the food for you and you give him the most beautiful and delightful, you know, meat, uh, he will, they will never be able to even come close to what you will and I will get, inshallah, in Jannah. So uh, these are the names of the camels, uh, the birds, the, you know, 
the horses and the camels and the birds and the uh, bulls and everything that it will get in Jannah, subhanAllah, uh, these are amazing, amazing stuff. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us Jannah. Allahumma inna nas alukal Jannah. Allahumma inna nas alukal Jannah. Allahumma inna nas alukal Jannah. Wa auzubika mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.